Welcome to another half hour of our Talk to the Experts, and it's time for our regular get-together on News Talk Radio with some of the folks from Trusted Saskatoon, the website TrustedSaskatoon.com. The brains behind Trusted Saskatoon, Sarah Wheelwright, unable to be with us here this week, but that's okay because it's all about uh, some of these great Saskatoon businesses who are part of Trusted Saskatoon, and we're going to be meeting uh, three of those businesses here in just a couple of minutes. Of course, TrustedSaskatoon.com is your local business directory, and unlike a lot of other business directories you may have run into with Trusted Saskatoon, Saskatoon. It's businesses that are researched and verified. We encourage you to go to the website trustedsaskatoon.com, find out more about this great Saskatchewan company, and also check out the five trusted guarantees. So you know when you uh, track down a business that's listed through trustedsaskatoon.com, you are getting a business that you really can trust to do that work or purchase that uh, service or goods that you're looking for. And today we're going to meet three of those businesses. And uh, Sarah tells me our category today from trustedsaskatoon.com is what she calls specialty retail. But it's interesting. I was just talking to our guest before we got started here today, and I was saying, boy, these are three Saskatoon businesses that I suspect every single person, as soon as you hear the name without the qualifier, you'll know who these businesses are and what they do. We've got uh, the folks from Critters here. Of course, Critters, a great pet store line all across the city of Saskatoon. We've got a representative from Wise Guys. You think Wise Guys, you think Mattresses. And our first guest is joining us from uh, JNS Picture Frame Warehouse. And we'll say hello to Sherry. Nice to see you, Sherry. Uh, run into you a good number of times over the years. Yes, we have. Yeah, and we've got some questions that people have submitted to the Trusted Saskatoon Facebook page for regular listeners of our Trusted Saskatoon expert show or for those those who follow Trusted Saskatoon on their Facebook page, you know how this works. If you're new to us, what it's all about is submitting questions to particular businesses through Sask- uh, Trusted Saskatoon's Facebook page. We then select some of those questions and uh, get replies for you. And everybody that submits a question on any particular program goes into a draw that I'll be making at the end of the show here today. And we've got a, a fabulous prize pack that our uh, three businesses are providing today. I've got a $100 gift certificate from Critters, a $100 gift certificate from j Picture Frame Warehouse, and an aloe vera pillow from uh, Wise Guys Mattresses. Okay, Sherry, here is your first question uh, posed uh, to j Picture Frame Warehouse. This comes from Marcia, and she says... Is there anything different that can be done with university degree certificates that still have the professional look, but not so blah? What would you recommend there? Well, yes, university degrees can be framed to look very professional, as well as classy, by using specialty mats with fillets and by using coordinating fillets with the framing. A great deal of time and effort and money has gone into getting those degrees, so they should be framed the best way possible. I've got to back up a little bit, and then you'll have to explain this to me, as maybe Marcy needs. What is a fillet? A fillet is a beautiful little piece of wood that's inset in the mats, and it gives a highlight and makes it look just, brings it alive. We've got another question. (laughs) Uh, These questions all posted through the Trusted Saskatoon Facebook page. Uh, and for our three guests today, we've got questions, a good number of them. Michelle is asking uh, JNS Picture Frame Warehouse. She says, I have this beautiful 4 by 6 handmade postcard. She said, it deserves a great frame, but I feel overwhelmed at all the choices. How do I begin to choose a frame that complements handmade art like this? Well, yes, it is overwhelming, but we have framed many, many pieces of original art and have a great deal of experience in that area. Mm -hmm. Please bring it in, and after we have looked at it and talked to you about how you want it to look and feel, then we would be able to give you the ideas that would work for it the best, to its and show it off to its best advantage and also to preserve it. How do you do something, you know, when you figure a four by six postcard, that's not very big. Well, so you start to frame that. You wouldn't put it in a tiny frame. No, would you, you try wouldn't. You try it, it in something fairly large? Correct. You would I would look I took a look at the picture here and thought I'd like to see mats put on that and then put it into a larger frame. And by coordinating the color of the mats and the type of frame that it would look best in Mm -hmm. there's many choices but by after talking to the client then you get a feel for what they want jns picture frame warehouse a long established saskatoon business one of our guests we've got sherry in from jns picture frame warehouse on our talk to the experts for trusted saskatoon.com check out their facebook page trusted saskatoon.com facebook page and you could submit uh, questions for our next show coming up next month continuing on uh, frank is asking a question of you at jns since he's got several record albums uh great covers would like to get them framed. He says, would it be wise to leave the vinyl, the record in it, or have the frame but next to the cover, much like a gold record? The, I frame many uh, record albums, and the nicest, in my opinion, is to take the 
vinyl mm-hmm. and pull it out of the sleeve so it's partially out. Good point. And then you're you're showing part of the vinyl and the complete sleeve. And that way it shows it off really nice. You also have to lift the glass away so it isn't touching the vinyl or mm-hmm. it isn't touching the the sleeve. And of course you have to use the acid-free materials and the all of the archival framing that mm-hmm. goes along with it mm-hmm. because very often those kinds of pieces are collectibles. I like that idea, Frank. I hope you're able to make use of that suggestion. Uh, we're going to combine our next two questions. One comes from uh, Terry, and then Sari has one in here as well. Same idea. They're talking about collectibles. Uh, in Terry's case, she's got uh, old family heirlooms like christening gowns. She wants to know about preserving them. Uh, she even wonders about some sort of gas where you would uh, seal them in this gas. And then uh, Sari's asking about creative ways to frame larger items like uh, collectible hockey sticks and more. You do those? We do. We do lots of that kind of thing. Collectibles are big, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. And and family heirlooms, rather than leaving them stuck in that drawer or in that box in the back of the closet mm-hmm. or wherever, they are beautiful when they're framed up and they're part of your family and they're something that you can pass on to generations to come. The framing of these items are all done in deeper frames. And that we hand sew everything. These are the things that are almost like a box. Yes. Yeah, with glass yes, on top. That's yeah. correct. And we hand sew the stuff in there so that it can be taken out. There's no glues attached to that or anything. Oh, I see. And we always use acid free materials again, of course, and the museum glass, the UV protective glass. And as far as the gases are concerned, there are gases that are in chemicals. And so if you don't use Ke- chemical material mm-hmm. with chemicals in it, there's no off-gassing onto your, onto your uh, items. Okay. So to preserve them I- that way w- is the best to- way to go. And you just put them inside and seal the back up so that, and use UV glass, of course, so they don't fade and they're, right. they're staying there for the long time. The same thing applies with sports memorabilia. You'll have signed jerseys and signed hockey sticks. And the, again, you need to preserve them with the proper acid-free materials and the UV or museum museum glass so that they're protected from fading and so on. And in my opinion, if you're framing these things, you should, it's much better if you, not always are you able to do this, but if you have a photograph that rounds out and tells the story of Good what point. you're of what you're framing. Good point. And it, to me they really look nice in a framing job like that. What about sorry asking about like a hockey stick? What yes, we have framed hockey lots of hockey oh sticks. Oh my god, really? Yes, and they're collectible. <laughs> take a lot of wall space. <laughs> <laughs> they are, but they're they look really nice if you have cards in them yeah. or a picture of the players. Sure. And they're signed. They're yeah, they're they're really quite neat. Thanks, Sherry from JNS Picture Frame Warehouse. Uh, some great answers to our questions and for anyone who may have questions along the same lines about the work they do at JNS Picture Frame Warehouse, just give them a call and of course uh, check them out uh, at our website trustedsaskatoon.com. Still to come, we've got questions for our guests from Wise Guy Mattresses and Critters. We're back in just 2 minutes on News Talk Radio. And welcome back to our Talk to the Experts segment for TrustedSaskatoon.com. Brent Lauchs joined by Mark now from Wise Guys Mattresses. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good to go with your questions? Good to go. You are a good man. Marcia is saying with all the different types of mattresses available nowadays, how in the world does the consumer know what to buy? You can try it out in the store, but she says that's not often a good judgment compared to an eight-hour sleep. You must get this question all the time because even me as I'm watching TV and I'm thinking, maybe I should try one of those foam mattresses or maybe I should get one of those number beds. It, it, it is, you know, it's a big investment too, buying a bed these days. It is, and it's exactly right. You don't know. It's totally different sleeping on it uh, for a full night as opposed to five or ten minutes. You can tell very quickly if you don't like a bed in the store. But uh, to, to try it out, it could feel great, but you sleep on it for eight hours or hopefully at least eight hours. Uh, it, it just doesn't feel good. That's why you always want to get a sleep satisfaction guarantee. Such as? Well, we offer 60 days at our store. Really? And, and And that's basically twice more than what you actually need. I tell customers that don't panic if you're a little sore for the first week or two. It's a new bed. It's different pressure. So sometimes your yeah. body will react funny to that. Yeah. But at 30 days, if you're still waking up sore and it's not getting better, it's not going to get better. It's not the right bed for you. You come back, you pick something else. Boy, out. that's sweet. So yeah. you're telling me I, I come and get a mattress, and uh, you know, do you, do you cover all these different types at, at Wise Guy? Yep, yep. Well, I cover. Uh, I, I don't sell what I would consider gimmick beds, but uh, for some people that works great. But for the most part, you come in. Uh, we'll ask you some questions, and we'll just try to guide you towards what would 
work for you. That doesn't mean it will, because everybody's different. Yep, Everybody yep. has different preferences, but uh, you're the one who's got to sleep in it. So we'll put you on everything, but we'll try to put you on the ones that should work for you right first. Somebody comes in, picks out the mattress, they pay for it, they, you deliver it to their home. Yep, you, you bet. You deliver it. I sleep on it for 59 days and yep. say, Mark, this just isn't working for me. You'll yep. come and pick it up and I pick out another one. You come back, you try something else out. Boy, that's great service. Uh, well, that's why we're growing and expanding like we are. It's uh, My customers are very happy. That's the best advertising you can get is happy customers. No doubt about it. Uh, Joanne wants to know, how can you tell if your mattress needs replacing? She says theirs is about 15 years old. She says it still seems to have a lot of support. And does flipping the mattress once, once a month really extend the life of it? Good questions. Yeah, it is. Uh, most mattresses you do not flip anymore. They've gone to a non-flip uh, a number of years ago. There's still the odd ones you can uh, but you still want to rotate the mattress. Uh, we recommend every couple months is the average, every two to three months. Again, that depends on on type of coil size, that sort of thing. A good indication usually is when you're changing your sheets and you see a little bit of a body impression, yeah, which is yeah, normal, yeah. Uh, rotate it or flip it if you can, and it should go away. 15 years seems like a pretty old mattress. That though. is old, but you know what? Uh, a good quality mattress should last you around 10 years, 8 oh, to yeah. 10 years, and uh, 15 years is not out of the question. Again, it'll last you probably a lot longer if you're 150 pounds and 400 pounds type of thing. Good point. Good point. Um, and uh, you, you keep the bed as long as it's comfortable. If it's no longer comfortable, that's usually the indication to switch it out. And a lot of things could be on that. It could be the bed is worn out, or like we were just saying, your body changes. Yeah. I'm a lot different than I was when I was 30, <laughs> and your sleep all? needs definitely <laughs> change. And the mattress could be fine. It's just your body now has changed. Mark from Wise Guys, uh, we're talking mattresses here uh, on our TrustedSaskatoon.com expert show. Can I ask you a question of my own? What yep. about you hear about people cleaning mattresses? Do, do you vacuum a mattress, or can you wash a mattress in any way? Uh, you really don't want to use a lot of a liquid on a mattress. It can affect the foam. The mm-hmm. easiest and best way, and we highly recommend it, is just put a mattress pad on. It, it oh, is sure. so much cleaner and healthier. You can take it off and wash it, and it's just it's just a thousand times better than putting nothing at all on Another it. question, this one from Anne, and it builds a little bit on the age of a mattress. She says, I've heard that you should replace every eight years, but she says, I see mattresses with 25-year warranties on them. Yeah, <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of the gimmicks that you can run. Like I said, they should last about eight to ten years, and that's by Sleep Council Canada standards. And people always think a mattress warranty is how long the bed will last, and that's not what it is at all. It covers defects in the bed. And wearing a bed out is not a defect. Exactly. So uh, a defect, uh, you know, the foam breaking down more than it should. You start getting the old hammock effect or, or if the, it starts making noise or something like that. Something defective in the bed. Mm-hmm. And uh, so once you get past about 15 years on a warranty, the rest of it's just kind of, it's a selling ploy, yeah, basically. Good point. Boy, some good information, Mark. Uh, one more question. Uh, Serena is asking about... Uh, expensive pillows. She says, are they really worth the expense? Uh, she says, isn't it all about a back or side sleeper? She just feels there's too many expensive pillows out there. What's your thoughts on pillows? Well, there's expensive pillows and then there's costly pillows. There's kind of a difference. Um, pillows are just as individual as a mattress. Everybody has their preference. Uh, I'm a stomach sleeper. And by the way, that is the worst position to sleep in and for your back. I'm, but, a, side <laughs> I'm a side sleeper. But if, if you're like me, if you get the right support, that is the only way you can be comfortable. Uh, I don't use a pillow at all. I'm flat out, whereas my wife has three pillows stacked to the roof, and it works for her. So I tell people you got to try them, and if they work, great, but don't think, just like a bed, don't think that the more expensive the pillow is, it's better. It, it it has nothing to do with it. It's just like a bed. It's always comfort, comfort, comfort. That's it. You want to take advantage of that 60-day uh, warranty, 60-day guarantee, 60-day return policy, I guess we could say, on on your new mattress. Uh, give it a try, and if after 60 days it's not the one for you, uh, flip it out and get yourself another one from Wise Guys. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Uh, great information. Thank you. Uh, Mark, of course, uh, with uh, Wise Guys Mattresses, TrustedSaskatoon.com, our program here today, and we are going to move along. And talk to Katie from Critters. Hello, Katie. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Boy, and you know, you can tell pets, huh? Look at all the questions we got from all these pet uh, owners out here. So you good to go? Good to go. Uh, Coralie says, is it unhealthy to change your dog's food often, or is it better to keep the food the same all the time? This sounds like a conversation in my house. So what's the answer? <laughs> well, there is a lot of personal preference to this one. Customers usually want to change their food just because they want to give them a variety, or they feel like their pet is becoming a little bored with eating the same thing every day. Mm-hmm. But the truth is with that is uh, pets are driven to eat something 
something based on smell, not on taste. So if their current diet is working for them, there's no real need to change. But you do have to remember if you are going to switch formulas, even if it is in the same brand, you do have to give them some time, mix it in with the food you already have, right. just to make sure their stomach and digestive system can adjust properly, even if it's just this different flavor in the same brand. Joanne wants to know, what's the best all-natural dog food on the market? She's got a Samoy dog who's getting up there in years. What well, do you recommend? Well, at our store, we recommend that a pet's food be based on the ingredient list and not a brand name. We believe what's inside the pet food is what makes it good. Uh, we have a variety of healthy Canadian pet foods and some of the best ingredient lists on the market. If you visit any of our stores, we can show you what to look for and what to avoid. We will never recommend a pet food ba with any byproducts, corn, vegetable protein concentrates, wheat, or fraction grains. It isn't necessary to change your pet's diet if they are becoming more senior, like you wouldn't cook a different meal for your grandparents than you would for yourself, right? <laughs> you can continue to feed them the same food. But it is best to adjust the feeding levels as they get older and to add your joint supplements separately. Uh, many pet foods on the market pride themselves on being senior. Mm -hmm. However, they don't have sufficient levels of the joint supplement in the food to be very effective. For example, lots of pet foods have 500 millig milligrams of glucosamine per kilogram of food. Mm -hmm. That means you'd have to feed 2.2 pounds of dog food to get the 500 milligrams, oh, which is gosh, not it's... realistic at all. Uh, Jerry's got a question for you. says... Uh... Their dog recently developed allergies, and he's now on a hypoallergenic dog food. And Jerry wants to know, are there any treats on the market that would be safe for the dog? Well, yeah, there is. And we deal with allergies all the time in our stores. And we have a lot of options for hypoallergenic diets and treats. Generally, you want to avoid corn, wheat, soy, and dairy if you believe your pet has an allergy. However, if you bring a list of ingredients you want to avoid in it and what they can't have, we can definitely narrow down products for you in the store. Get that kind of expert advice uh, when you stop into Critters locations around Saskatoon. Cheryl's got a question. Says she's got a senior cat, 19 years old, with arthritis. Uh, wants to know if there's anything on the more natural side of things that'll help with the stiffness and pain. Says it's really troublesome for the cat when it's about to rain. Oh, yeah, that's got a lot. You know, it's getting yeah. a little colder. It happens. But uh, we carry a lot of natural supplements to help with the joints. We are, The supplier we get it from, we get our pure glucosamine and all of our other supplements so you know that they're getting a non-diluted product and it's all natural which is also really good because you don't want to throw in a lot of junk their yeah. different powdered products are just sprinkled on top of the pet food in a dose that's based on their weight so you're not just giving them whatever ever animal can have they have it specific for them and these supplements should be given about once a day to receive their maximum benefits and it's not even really expensive it's about four or five bucks a month good stuff some great information katie thanks for coming by today yeah, of course katie of course with critters uh, locations all around saskatoon also joined today on our trusted saskatoon.com show uh, from sherry uh jns picture frame warehouse thank you sherry for popping by with some great information thank you very much brent and mark wise guys i love that 60-day <laughs> guarantee as far as uh, exchanging a new mattress if you want to give it a try check out wise guys thanks mark thank you and again for everybody who submitted your questions through the trusted saskatoon.com uh, facebook page we've made our draw and today our prize pack goes to jerry mcphee who had uh, submitted a question to katie from critters about his dog allergies and with that jerry you get our prize pack the 100 hundred dollar gift certificate from critters a uh, hundred dollar gift certificate from jns picture frame warehouse and the aloe vera pillow from wise guys mattress uh, more details online at trusted saskatoon.com you've been listening to talk to the experts on news talk radio